On the ground in Paris, France, is our own John Roberts traveling with President Trump. Ahead of the trip there, the French president said that he wanted a military force staffed by the Europeans. And President Trump responded that NATO should first pay, get their fair share from the French. It would hardly be imagined for the trip to get worse after uh, that diplomatic beginning, John. Uh, well, you know, Leland, sometimes you say things and they're taken in one context. And then when you sit down with somebody, it turns out that they might have been in a different context. And, and that may indeed be what they hap what happened here. Don't forget, uh, the French president's popularity ratings have been plummeting in the last few months. His uh, approval rating now stands at 29 percent. You get a lot of people in the United States suggesting that President Trump isn't very popular. Well, French President Emmanuel Macron is not popular as well. Uh, the president... Uh, had most of his schedule canceled today because of the weather, uh, very dark and sort of foreboding here in Paris. He was supposed to go out to the Ain Marne Cemetery northeast of the city, but his helicopter was grounded because of the weather. So the chief of staff, General John Kelly, and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joe Dunford, uh, filled in for the president today, uh, taking uh, cars about 50 miles and a little more than an hour northeast of the city to the Ain Marne Cemetery, where they laid a wreath there in honor of the 2,200 and 89 American service members who are resting there. The, the first thing on the president's agenda today, though, was that bilateral meeting with the French President Macron. Macron seeming to anger the president, we announced earlier this week on a radio talk show, that Europe needs a true European army, saying, quote, we have to protect ourselves with regard to Russia, China, even the United States. Just before he landed last evening, Aboard Air Force One, the president tweeting, quote, President Macron of France has just suggested that Europe build its own military in order to protect itself from the U.S., China and Russia. Very insulting. But perhaps Europe should first pay its fair share of NATO, which the U.S. subsidizes greatly. In that bilateral meeting, though, the president seemed to be not affronted by what uh, President Macron said as he was in his Twitter. Listen here. from the standpoint of fairness, and I want it to be fair. We want to help Europe, but it has to be fair. Right now, the burden sharing has been largely on the United States, as the president will say, and he understands that. It's unfair to have the European security today being assured just by the United States, and we need a much better burden sharing. That's why I do believe that we need more European capacities, more European defense, in order to take this part of the burden. What President Trump has to protect or to defend one of the go one of the states of the United States. He doesn't ask France or Germany or another government of Europe to finance it. So in that bilateral meeting, the French president basically saying we, we shouldn't have to rely on the United States to provide for our defense. But uh, in earlier interviews, Macron has suggested that Europe can no longer rely on the United States to come to its aid. By the time the meeting and the lunch was over, though, everything seemed back the way it was between the two leaders. There were handshake hugs and kisses all around, uh, that being the first ladies, <laughs> not Macron and Trump. Uh, the president tonight has got uh, uh, dinner at the Musée d'Orsay, uh, just north of us here. Uh, a lot of world leaders will be there. Vladimir Putin, we understand, though, Leland, will not be here until tomorrow for the official ceremonies commemorating the 100th anniversary of the uh, end of World War I. So likely that President Trump will only get to see Putin very briefly, but they do plan to have an extended sit-down at the G20 conference in Buenos Aires later on this month. Layla?